available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. You're one crazy bastard. I got changed back at the corner store, if you wanted to know. That's how I found the money. That's how I got your number. Red, tell me your story. If this isn't the person who wrote that, or you just don't care anymore, hang up. But you said you wanted a story. Hell, I got one for you. I need two things when I'm at the store. One bag of barbecue chips and one box of cigarettes, menthols. I buy the cigarettes for Kyle. I always bought them and never asked for a single cent back. I didn't buy them this time. He can ask that blonde bitch of his to get that shit, but she won't. You know, he tried to pull the, we can work this out line, the nervous of men. Didn't even eat the chips. Couldn't. Pretty convenient way to come across your number, right? Well, anyway, if you use this message for some kind of movie or something, I better get cred. Two messages. You didn't pick up, so like, what's the procedure? Um, I'm itching to share my day with someone, anyone, so here goes. You know that blissful high that comes from being looked at with unconditional love? That's what Carlo gave me. He's my cat, to clarify. Was my cat. Anywho, I was at the park today where we usually take walks. I'm hanging up posters of my baby boy when this woman taps me on the shoulder. And she's like, are you looking for your cat? What's, What's her name? name? Carlo. His name is Carlo. He's my best friend and I haven't seen him in a couple days. Long story short, we really hit it off. The crazy part is that I don't usually connect with people so easily. Actually, ever since I moved, it's just been me and Carlo. Anywho, uh, we're meeting again to hang posters and etc. It's odd. She wasn't the friend I was looking for today, but she's the one I'm grateful to have met. You know what I mean? Do you know? with Mercy Hospital. I just called to confirm that you, Mr. Watts, if I have the name correct, have an appointment with Dr. Bennett for April 21st, one week from today. Please call back at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your time. So I turn the corner and I see this doofus looking kid who isn't paying any attention. I go to him and I say, give me your phone and empty your pockets. And he's like, am I being, am I mugged? being mugged? I'm like, did I stu 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 stutter? The shit was savage. It would have been better if he'd had more than two fives on him, but he didn't. So now you. Um, hello again, Mr. Watts. This is Mindy from Mercy Hospitals. Um, we're just calling again to remind you that you had an appointment last week. There were a couple of complications and issues that you had, and we just wanted to know if you'd be able to come in and maybe we can resolve those issues. Um, just call us back at your earliest convenience. Who wins a voicemail? Can I get a uh, large pepperoni supreme with uh, two little Sprite and some uh, some bread Bro, are you on the phone with the pizza palace? Yeah, hold on. Uh, on top of that other stuff, can I add uh, two boxes of uh, mini hot wings? Bro, why the fuck would you be leaving a voicemail for a pizza palace? Stop interrupting me, bro. You want someone or not? Nah? Man, you high as hell. You called the wrong number. Pizza palaces don't take voicemails. Hang that shit up. Mr. Watts, it's Mindy with Mercy Hospital. <sighs> We've called you several times about rescheduling an appointment. I understand from your last visit you're not keen on social interactions, but there is information that must be updated on your file. We will call again tomorrow afternoon, and if we are unable to reach you, we have no choice but to terminate your account with Mercy. Goodbye.
Hi, Dr. Bennett. Who? No, I found this number on a $5 bill. I figured I'd call. I must have missed out the number. Uh, no, 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 it's no problem. You, uh, you called the right number. I'm, uh, I, was just, I was expecting another call. I could call back another time, or not at all. If, I mean, I don't know why I'm making this a big deal. I, it, it's no trouble. I just, uh, uh, I don't answer calls very often. I, I prefer to listen. Now, your voice sounds familiar. Yeah, I've left a few messages. I've, I called a couple times this week. I haven't spent the money yet. Well, what's stopping you? You, you were traveling, weren't you? You were, you were going to buy a bus ticket. You remember that. I didn't think anyone was listening. I want to meet my father. At the very least, I need to know his face. Mom has always insisted it was a terrible idea, but we're moving soon, so it's now or never. I mean, you shouldn't be expected to, to, to live with a part of your life missing like that. And, I mean, no one should, and she should understand that. I, I, I would only worry that, that, well, this man wouldn't live up to your expectations. I mean, men who would leave their families don't, they don't always make the best fathers. Well, that's the thing. I'm not expecting to meet a superhero or a perfect person. I know he'll have flaws, same as mom, same as me. But since mother is so great at distancing herself from people, sometimes I feel like she never really gave him the chance to know me. And so now I'm having second thoughts. Well, if you've thought so long about it, why are you having second thoughts? If I go, if I commit, to finding this address that I had to pry from my mom's hands. She's made it crystal clear that she's not gonna be home waiting for me when I get back. So it's him or her, and that's a scary choice when I don't even know what I'm getting myself into. I, I can hardly hear you, where, where are you? At the bus stop. It's here, I have to go. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Hello? No one will tell me why my father lives in the same state as me, and yet I have never met him. I keep fearing that even with no expectations, I'll still manage to be disappointed. Yet greater than that fear is the hope to find this connection that's been severed for so long. I mean, maybe it's worth the risk.